hey guys welcome back to the channel my name is itesh and i'm back with another tutorial so in our last video we started the star model and today we are going to add some more details into it so i'm going to start with the top and for this i'll just take a cube pull this up and i'll add some pillars for the corners so first I'll just add some width and height and place this here like this. I'll select the vertices on the top and pull these up to this point like this and uh, maybe you can select these two and align them till here now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to face mode and select the top and the bottom face then delete those faces are not going to be visible so we can delete them and i'll just select the edges and then bevel to add a little bit of smoothness like this Now I'll go to top view, select this, wireframe mode, change the pivot to center of the grid, press control D to duplicate and shift D to duplicate special. So we are done with the Side mounts now I'll take another cube or what we can do is I'll just select this go to face mode and select these two faces then duplicate select this modify center pivot and scale this like this and now I'll just select these two edges and extend them to the left side. Now one more thing, we need to extend this edge. So if I pull this like this, it's going to change the position. So if I press control shift and right click, then I'll have this markup menu and if i select component it's going to change the position of your gizmo so if i now extend this then it's not going to change the position so i'll just make it like this and this one a little bit to this side and now we can extrude like this There are a few things that we can do with this to add a little bit of more details. So I'll just select the edges except for this one and bevel. Add one segment with a little bit of friction. and now i'll select this edge and use connect tool and add few segments like this then press ctrl b add a little bit of friction and now i'll select all the faces 
we just created So everything is selected. Now I'll press Control E and include a little bit with some offset. Like this. And I think this would give a little bit of detailing. So we are good to go. Now let's work on the window. So for the window, I'm going to take a pipe and make it bigger a little bit for now. Rotate it. Go to right view and pull this up. and align it with this arch so i'll increase the radius like this and maybe add a little bit of more subdivisions some thickness now I'm going to go to face mode select half of it then delete I'm going to select these two border edges pull these down a little bit and then extrude till here and extrude one more time to cover these i'll just use fill hole and now i'll just select these faces delete go to edge mode select these two borders and bridge like this and i'm going to repeat the same thing here so select the faces delete then select the edges and bridge now what you can do is you can add a split here and then select this one then bevel and now we can delete these two and also bridge them like this So you can change the direction of the source or the target if you face something like this. Now I can pull this inside like this. And as for the door. We can add a few wooden planks or a metal door, but uh, let's add a little bit of detail here first. So I'll just pull this up in the scale of this cube. I'll just select the vertices of this window, pull these up a little bit like this and select this cube. Place it here. Now 
go to vertex mode select the vertices pull these up till here and these ones extend them to the left and right now i'm going to bevel the entire cube turn down the fraction add segment like this and i'll just add a split and bevel then add few segments so that we can tweak a little bit so i'll just push these vertices inside like this to add a little bit of variation in the detail like this all right so now it's turn to add a door so i'm going to delete this character and now we can start working on the door so i'll take a cube scale this place it here like this select the vertices press and hold v to snap same thing on this side and in the bottom bring this out scale it down like this and first we need to add a frame so if we are working on a frame what we can do is we can select these four faces and delete and the same thing you can repeat here so i'll just isolate it for now and i'll select this whole thing then delete bring back everything and leave the window like this and same for the row i'm going to place this inside like this and uh, i'll add a uh, edge ring then bevel same here pull this up and i'll delete the faces in the middle and we can bridge these now i'll select everything and bevel turn down the fraction and add one segment we'll take another cube fill it up place it up here and we're going to create a metal door for this instead of wood Now it's time to add some detail. 
I'll add a uh, split and then bevel. Then one here. Repeat the same thing. One more. Place this up here. And then bevel. Now I'm going to add one split in the middle and bevel like this. And I'm going to select all the faces and intrude like this. Add a little bit of offset. Then again, extrude one more time. like this just a simple door i can also model some handle in the knob if you want to but i'm going to leave it here like this and i want to keep this pretty basic so we only have like 1600 faces as you can see you can also reduce this if you don't want to add some details here like this but i think this looks good or what you can do is to go an extra mile i'll just select the corner edges like this and now you can also bevel them just a little bit like this and now you have a little bit of smoothness here and you can also repeat the same thing here if you want to but i think this looks good as it is so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial because in this one I'm going to leave till here and in the next one we are going to unwrap it and texture it in Substance Painter. What I'm going to do is I'm going to select everything, go to edit, delete by type history and remove unnecessary information. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and if you did then make sure to drop a like on this one and subscribe to the channel if you are new you can also follow me on instagram and join my discord server all the links are in the description if you want the reference image for this model then it's available in my discord server so go and join i'll see you in the next one thanks for watching